Have you ever been curious about the differences between different types of Samsung Galaxy phones? Well, you're in luck because today I'll be comparing three different types of Samsung Galaxy phones just for you. The first one is the A51 phone, the second one is the A71 phone, and the last and final one is the S20. Let's get started. Now first things first, let's talk about pricing. For the A51, it's around 350 Canadian dollars, while the A71, it's around 470 Canadian dollars and the S20 it's around 765 Canadian so different price ranges and we will be testing their capabilities in the next part now we have the three phones side by side this one is the A51 this one is the A71 and this one is the S20 now as you can see they are pretty much the same size I would say that the 71 is slightly larger than the 51 screen but doesn't make much of a difference when you hold them all three phones have the infinity edge which is really nice when you're trying to look at graphics and trying to see um, your entire screen this is the 71 that I'm using right now and as you can see the infinity edge gives you a pretty good advantage when you're playing a game like Among Us you can actually see all the way into the edge so if there's imposter coming on the side you can actually see them the phones also have three different ways you can unlock the phone one is by having a pin code the second way is using your fingerprint scan and another one is using your face scan. So you can unlock just by pressing your finger there and it would unlock a phone. Now you can also customize the keyboard options for the phones and you can set the vibration levels for however you feel it's most comfortable. And when you have a slight vibration on these keys, I feel like it is actually quite comfortable to type on and it feels like you're actually typing on keys. All three phones also come with the Galaxy themes option where you can buy or purchase a theme that you enjoy. This is one example of a theme and as you can see, it changes everything from the background to how the keyboard looks to the icons. So I think it's a pretty cool way to customize the design of your phone if you're into that. The phones have pretty good graphics. I would say the 51 has slightly cooler toned ones while the 71 is slightly warmer tone and the S20 is somewhere in the middle. Now let's talk about the speed of these phones because they are actually slightly different depending on which model you choose. So this is the 51, that's the 71. I'm going to do this in a very unprofessional way but basically I'm going to go to a website at the same time that I choose for the other one and we're going to see which one finishes faster or loads the page faster and compare them to. So let's just say we want to go to hotels.com. So ready, go. And as you can see, the 71 does load the page faster. Now, if you don't believe me, let's try another one. Let's say DoorDash. And the 71 loads it faster again. So not much of a difference really, just a little bit of a lag. But um, when you start running a lot of more applications and stuff, the 71 will have a slight more difference in speed and being able to load things faster. Now trying it again with the 71, with the S20, um, and then we'll see if there's a difference in the speed. So let's go to booking.com. The S20 seems to be a lot faster at loading. Let's try this again with a different website. Let's say Kayak. Again, the S20 seems to be significantly faster, which I agree because when I was using um, these phones, all three of them compared together, this phone was definitely a lot faster loading uh, websites and watching videos. So um, for speed, definitely S20 takes the cake. In terms of graphics, they are pretty similar. However, if you do look closely, this one cannot be as sharp and has sort of a glare if you um, look at it and for these ones, it tends to be better, especially the S20. It's very crystal clear and very smooth um, graphics, no matter what angle you look at it from. So definitely graphics, the S20 is really good. However, the other ones, um, not much of a really big difference unless you're looking at it from the side. So the 51, when you play music or audio on it, it tends to sound a bit echoey or just grainy, I guess, the sound. It's not the sharpest or clearest. As you can see, the bass sounds, the beats sound like clapping, which is not the ideal, but as you can see, the volume works fine. So not the best, but also not the worst. So same with the 71, I would say pretty much the same issue with the clapping sound with the beats. Just play the same song on um, the S20 and as you can see, 
I still hear the clapping sound with the beats. So pretty much all three phones have the same issue. So I wouldn't say that it's a pro or con for any of them. They're pretty interesting actually. I took a picture of myself in the same position in my room on all three phones. And what's interesting is that on the 51, it seems that similar to how the display is, um, the picture is more cool toned and this one is more warm toned. I would say all of them are sort of airbrushed. Um, this one, maybe the least. And then as you go to S20, I am very highly airbrushed, kind of feel like. They basically took away my shadows under the eyes and also um, just any lines or blemishes on my face, they are completely gone. While here you can still see the shadows on the sides, even in the 71, it's pretty even out. So varying levels of Photoshop included in your camera, I guess. The thing that's interesting is that Samsung takes away your ad's camera features based on the model so that the 51 has these options, the 71 added something called live focus mode, and then for the S20, they added something called live focus video mode as well as um, pro video. Okay, so here are the night pictures side by side, starting from 51, 71, and the S20. And I just kept it on their normal modes when shooting in night mode. The quality, I think the S20 might be the least grainy. Um, you can see the details quite well. Um, this one's a little grainy um, and also this one as well. This is what it looks like in zoomed out mode. The 51 does not do a good job at all. You can barely see the details and the outlines of the objects. The 71, it looks very pink, which I'm not really sure why. It's probably the preset lighting features. And then the S20 looks like this, which seems very accurate and seems the most zoomed out. And you can actually see the surroundings of the room, while the other ones are still um, more zoomed in than um, a widescreen. Finally, the S20 also has a super zoomed in one. This is three times zoomed in. And as you can see, still very clear despite zooming in three times. So I tried out the super slow mo mode on all three phones and it actually doesn't really work very well because they're not really able to get the timing right when I press record and I'm trying to throw the stuffy. The only one that seems to kind of get it was the 51 actually. And what happens is that it's supposed to look something a little bit like this. But as you can see, the other ones, um, pretty anticlimactic, nothing really happening. Um, all I see is just the red and then it just goes at its normal speed. In fact, I think the regular slow-mo mode works even better than that super slow-mo mode. So I don't see any difference between the three. They do a good job at this uh, feature, all three phones. I am trying out the food mode on the S20 since the other phones don't have it. This is the picture taken without food mode and this is the picture taken with. And as you can see, it basically just blurs out the section that you choose that you don't want it to focus on and the colors are just slightly more vibrant. While the other one, um, it's just everything is clear around it, including tables, and the colors are not as much contrast, but still very sharp and clear. Another thing I forgot to mention was the exterior of the phone. So the 51, the 71, they have this smooth exterior and it's sort of like a navy blue but shiny, while the S20 has this matte colored navy blue. Three phones can also connect to the TV. So you just press this and then you can choose the device you want to connect it to. And then um, what happens is that when you play on your phone, you can play it on the big screen as well. The difference is on the 51, if you do smart view, you can only choose a photo, video, music on the app to play it here. You can't just share everything. While if you use the 71, you can see the entire phone on the screen. So you can basically share anything. If you want to go to Khan Academy, you can do that and then you'll see it on the big screen. If you want to play Among Us on your phone, um, it will also show up as well. The S20 also does the same thing. Um, if you do smart view, it will link your entire phone onto the big screen. So the only one that doesn't really have this feature is the 51. Another thing that's different about the S20 versus the A71 and 51 phones is that 
the S20 actually is able to wireless charge. So if you have a wireless charger, you can just put it on there. While the other ones, you would actually need the cord to be able to charge. It looks something like this. So basically super simple and very portable. So after going through all this talk about all these different features and comparing all these three phones, which one would I recommend for these three? Now, to be honest, after trying them out and everything, I'm actually surprised that all three of these phones are quite similar in its capabilities, although some may vary with the camera capabilities and speed, but overall all three phones are pretty good quality and they offer very similar features. I would say though, however, if you are looking to upgrade your phone, probably take the A51 out because some of the technology is more old and dated and you probably wouldn't want to use this in the next couple of years if you plan to hold on to your phone for a while. So probably go with the A71 at least or the S20. I think the S20 is definitely a very good phone with a lot of the features on point and the newest technologies and updates. Um, while the A71, if you don't care about like cool camera features and the highest speed and all these fancy things, then this phone is perfectly fine for you. Face no issues with it at all. So all three phones, fantastic. And I think just based on the price points of these phones, the 71 and the S20 are your best buys to pick from. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys next time.